What's up guys, welcome to a brand new series we've got on the channel called One Shot, which is basically a non-edited one shot on a f day to give you all the updates of what's happened in the previous week on Drift Games and what's coming up on the week ahead. So you guys can stay up to date in case you missed a couple of videos or a podcast or whatever else. So also check out the podcast, our first episode is now live, we released it on Wednesday, it's going down pretty good, let us know what you guys think. Got a little competition running on there as well. So let's get into what's been happening in the last little while. Well, you've obviously seen us do the wheels on the GX100. We got all the hard race stuff in. All the suspension arms are now done front and back and we're running mega camber on the back, which is a bit questionable, but it actually works really well. We just need to uh, basically harden up the shocks on the front. Actually, we don't, we don't need to harden up the shocks on the front. We just need to take out some of the inner arch shiner. It's hitting the inner arch shiner, but Adam O'Connor said he'll fix that for me. So this car is getting really, really close to being done. PS13, still have to get it to alignment. We took a little bit longer on the Supra and the GX than we thought. So this needs alignment. Other than that, a couple of decals and that thing is ready. And then this, we were trying to chase down an airbag for it because obviously that exploded, but we have to raise the front of it a little bit because even when we had it fully up on air, it still wouldn't have got out of the yard or over a speed bump. So we're gonna raise it a little bit so it can be driven on the road this summer. So why are we getting all these cars ready? Well, we haven't mentioned too much about this before, but we are going to Dubshed at the start of April. It's a show in Northern Ireland. It's actually a Euro car show but they have a JDM section now, and we thought, what better way to finish all our JDM cars, all our street cars, and bring them there, along with all our new merch and the merch shop, hang out with you guys and all that good stuff. We will be going to that event, which we're really, really looking forward to. However, we still have to finish the S15, get it wrapped, and fix all of these cars in time for that. So it's still gonna be quite down to the wire, and we've got a trip to the Middle East coming up next week, which we get more cool content, but also slows us down a little bit in all this. Speaking of the S15, you guys all watched in a couple of episodes ago when we started putting wheels on the S15 that I had some black raised wheels. The plan always was not to keep them black. As you can see, they are now white. So these are very CR Kai looking, but they are brand new raised engineering wheels because I wanted brand new wheels on it. And our man Paulius in TH Components and the tire hanger powder coated them gloss white. They look absolutely sweet right now. Really happy with how they came out. Mustang parts, we got back from, we brought them back in this suitcase, uh, from the Middle East. So we've got the intake, the throttle body and all that good stuff. So we're going to try and get to the Mustang soon enough to make it NA, which will run at about five or 600 horsepower, make it much more fun to drive. I think it's got too much power. I know that sounds really ridiculous for anyone listening, but it has too much power. And even the way it delivers the power with the supercharger, it's so laggy and on and off that it's not easy for Adam to drive. It's not easy for anyone to drive. It's, I think it's actually less competitive. Uh, with that much power in it, especially for the smaller tracks that we run in Ireland and, and in England. So yeah, we've got other parts for the S15. The next video you'll see will be the S15 getting done. That's off at Perfect Solutions at the moment, getting dents pulled, body work done. There was a lot of dings on it, stuff like that. So we got all them pulled out of the car so that basically it's getting good for wrap. And then the next episode, you'll see us do exhaust, intake, get the stance right, get the wheels on, get the lights, the new D-Max lights are there on. We've got tons of parts for it, new steering wheel, harnesses, lots of good stuff like that. So that's coming up on the next episode. Before we get to the cars at the back, I wanna talk a little bit about a sneaky thing that might be happening next week. So we had a big launch of a mystery box late last year. They sold out in like a day um, where we put like 130 euros worth of merch into a box for 100 euro. But we're gonna do it next week, I think, but not gonna get too specific into it, but we have a lot of sets of wheels like these brand new Stroms. These are DS25s so with brand new tires on from the tire box. Shout out to Strom Wheels. You guys know I have them on my Supra and all of our drift cars. They are awesome. These DS25s are awesome. These are brand new and black. 5x120 and 5x114 fitment with brand new tires from the tire box. Shout out to the tire box um, on them. And we're thinking we might start putting stuff like that into one of the mystery boxes. So like a golden ticket for wheels, golden ticket for maybe a drift games experience. And we'll, we'll get to that later next week. We'll work out the fine details, but we're going to put some amazing prizes in. So not only do you save 30 quid on the box, but you also... Uh, get the merch, it's not a competition, you already get the merch, but you could win some really, really cool stuff. But these wheels over here landed yesterday. So you guys will uh, remember last year we were working with a company called Motion Aura. They custom uh, make Ford Rangers, Ford Transits, all that kind of stuff. Well, we love their sort of motorsport style wheels. So we've got these black wheels. Now I know you're saying, what are these wheels for? Well, these wheels are actually for our new van. So because this is a live shoot and I've just pulled it up to the door and we've just got it, I might just open the door, bring it in, and show you and Josh, obviously you haven't seen it yet, our new van for this year and kind of our ideas with it. So it's outside. 
Our door is fixed as well. This broke for some reason during the week. It would go up, but it wouldn't come down. But Wayne came over and fixed it in an annoying 30 seconds. So we felt useless and we had to use this chain for like three hours to get the door down. So that's pretty much what that is. After Dub Shed, our next big show, I think is going to be modified live in Mandela Park, which is part of Drift Masters. We've been talking to a lot of cool companies that are coming to that. That's going to be a massive event, but keep an eye on socials for Mandela Park Drift Masters and us to let you know about tickets for that. And um, that's going to be the first big show. But here is the new van. So this is a 2018 Toyota Pro Adam's here as well. Hello, Adam. Hello. In the old van. This is the old van. So this is a perfect show of white. So we have this uh, Renault Master. As you can see, it's a really big crew cab. And we had this van last year as a race van. So we were going to tow our Brian James trailer with the drift car, and you could change in the back. Then, just beyond the van, as you can see, we upgraded quite a bit to a big, massive truck, which has two beds and takes two cars. So this van is kind of like, it's too big, really, for everyday use. Like, for just grabbing parts and going places. Like, you can't really park it at your house. It's so massive, it doesn't even fit in normal parking spaces. So we sold that van, it is sold. And then we bought this van because it's much smaller. Out of this our new van. The new Nova Steed. Oh. So, this, I'll bring it in, because it's too wet to be, I'll bring it in. Oh, we got new, new team stuff. New team stuff. Oh. We've been waiting on this. Can we look at it? Actually, before we get to the van, I want to see the new team yeah, stuff. You're wearing, you're wearing old hoodies. You're, on, you're wearing hoodies that are on sale. So you might as well, but where's where These are we're, we're awkwardly wearing. The same hoodie. It's, it's oh, like we re it's like we rehearsed this. It's like we rehearsed this. We always wear the same hoodie. This right. is the team. So this is our 2022 official team gear. We had a new style that we wanted to try, which we really liked last year, but updated for this year. Oh. I saw a render. I haven't seen them yet, but it's only arrived. Go, 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 go for next. Go for next now. Always remember, people, when you're buying from our shop, go a size up. In the, in the hoodies. In the hoodies. The t-shirts are fine. Just in the hoodies, go a size up. So if you're a large, go extra large. Doesn't mean you put on weight. Doesn't mean you got bigger. Just means the hoodies that they're already pre-washed. Is that the thing? Like yeah. yeah. So they don't shrink. Mm -hmm. So we really we hated hoodies that you'd buy at a show. You give them one wash and everything falls to pieces. So what we wanted was pre-washed. So all the stuff is pre-washed, but that means it does shrink a little bit when it's pre-washed. That looks awesome. Yeah. So went with the, went with the white. So this is our, our monochrome. We like this style. It worked really well last year. So as you can see, it's got monochrome on the front. It's got mobile, one on, mobile one on the sleeves, and it's got a nice mix of stuff on the back, as you guys can see. It's really nice, actually. I like that. And the exact same in the hoodie. And the hoodie is the same. So I think the black and white works really well. It obviously shows off all of our partners. It obviously, if you guys wear it, um, shows that you're sporting the team, which is cool. We like that. Um, and I think they just look real motorsport inspired. Yeah, they look serious. Look at the sleeves. My yes, favorite part of the sleeve is the sleeve. same as on the uh, new, right? There. There's a new sleeve, mobile one, checker. So, mobile one and the checker on the sleeve. That's really cool. Yeah. Oh, they are very nice, Adam. Yeah. Like, these hoodies are the best we've ever done because whatever, you're obviously watching this video, but if you actually feel these, they, they feel high quality. Yeah. And that's what we wanted. I mean, we could buy cheaper hoodies and probably make more money yeah. by having, like, they're, these are really expensive to make. But what I love about them is they're 100%, like, they'll wear well. In like six months' time, they still look good. and yeah, they're kind of a fashion fit, so they're quite nice. They don't, you know the way the ones that get all real stringy at yeah. the bottom and they all go loose? I have this hoodie like, what, probably five, four months now? Five months and it's been washed a few times. I was going to say, what size do you want? I wanted, I'm an XL, so it would be a 2XL and a hoodie. You have to explain it first. See? I'm, so this is what I would take. So, what size do you want? And I would be an XL, please. There you go. Thank you. Come. All right, move that out of the way. I want to bring the van in so I can show you guys around yeah. the van. Well, I was thinking, I was thinking of doing a, some, somewhat of a giveaway with this because it's literally giveaway? Just, just arrived. Oh, I'm making the big calls. Yeah, make the big, big shots. So, if you order a hoodie and a new Team Gear T-shirt anytime in the next week, let's say the week. You Until what? Next Friday. Yeah, next Friday to Friday. I, I don't know why I'm agreeing to this. What? What are we giving away? We're giving away either a Team. I'm, I'm feeling spicy now. A Team Gear banner or and a poster. And. Yeah. yeah. So you get if you buy a hoodie and a T-shirt, you get. Yeah. Is that the banner? That's the banner. That's the banner. That's the new. Expensive. You can actually give them away. Yeah. So, well, you've said it now on video, so I can't argue with you yeah. on the video. So, a hoodie and a T-shirt, you get a free banner. But they are awesome looking. I have one of those in my room at home. It's that deadly. So, one of those, and so that's the Corvette MX-5, and we sign it. That's a bit of a deal now for the next week. Yep. And we're going to do a mystery box next week. I was telling them as yeah, well. So, suppose, yeah, suppose, yeah, we're, we're, are we just are we just giving them away now, Adam? Is that the crack? Don't you in the door and you're giving them away. Okay, so there you go. Adam said it now. I can't argue with him on camera. So hoodie and t-shirt, if you buy them together for the team stuff, you get that banner and you get a team poster, which is of these two cars. They look much better in the photo. They're not broken. They look really good in the 
They're moving. They're moving. They're moving. They're moving, moving yeah. The, we've signed many pictures of them. Right. We have there's more signing than we have driving, to be fair. But they are getting. They're getting there. They get, we'll get to that in a minute. So I want to drive the van because I want to show you guys. So these are the wheels. See, so the van is grey. Now what I've ordered for the van is, as you do, because it's stupid. This is the van we're going to be using for bringing around all of this merch to all the different shows during the year. So we have this van, which is small, which is handy, and then we're going to get a trailer for this van to put all the stock in. So I've got these wheels, the motion wheels. I've got lowering springs. I mean, I'm bought lowering springs for a van. Yeah. 40 mil lowering springs, by the way. So 40 mil. 40 mil. She's going to be down there, lads. And then I've got side steps for it. I've got a spoiler, a spoiler for a van. And the spoiler's mad because it comes in, it's like a tailgate, so it comes in two pieces. So it's like a two piece spoiler. And I got a front, really, really aggressive front lip. So it's going to look cool. It has to look cool. And then we're going to do some decals on it. That's the plan. But I want to show you the van. I want to bring it in. All right, bring it in. Can you leave something on for two minutes and he buys a new vehicle? He said this was going to be a practical van, and he's already lowered it and lowered his wheels, put a lip kit on it. Now saying that, the other van is like the size... When you, it's uh, almost the size of the truck. Yeah. It's not far off the truck. Because you're saying if you put a trailer on the, uh, on the other van, it's actually a little bit longer than an Arctic lorry. The van looks a lot bigger once you bring it in here, Dave. <laughs> it's taking up all the room. All the room's done. Did they mention it's raining again? Again. We got like what? We got one day. We got it's one not day. Stopped. Hasn't stopped today. We were going to do this like a little walk around the yard, but it's miserable. So, two liter diesel, which means it's good on the juice. At the moment, it's what? 17 euro yeah. a, a, a liter? And by the time the video comes out. By the time this video comes out. Which is in a couple of hours, it'll probably have gone up another euro, but we have to get something a bit cheaper. So, two liter diesel. This was actually owned by the company that Gary Dunn, who's one of our friends, uh, it's an electrical company. So, it's tasty enough though. Watch. Thank God. It's very clean. Far too clean for us. For a van, like. Look at that. Spotters. Now, three seats with the half leather. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, but the thing about it is. Most importantly, more importantly, for putting stuff in, it's the twin sliding door, right? has this floor, so what we said was is we want to raise this floor a little bit and we want to be able to put our flags, our gazebo, our weights and all underneath it. Get in Adam to get I was ready to jump in to be in bed. Could you sleep it out of the bash? You could. Oh, you'd sleep in this You'd sleep in that the bash, wouldn't you? You wouldn't even need the blow-up mattress. It's just, it's lovely. A bit of flex in that too. It's yeah. lovely. You can put your alarm clock up there, your old bottle. Put your points in here. Your points up there and your old <laughs> bottle of vodka there. You'd be, you'd be set up for a bash, lads. You'd be fair set up. So yeah, this is the van we've, uh, this is it's nice in this, we have, to, we have a bit to do because we want to fit it out for what we want it for, but it's a small van. The reason we wanted a small van was because they're just easier to drive, easier to park, and for every day collecting wheels and parts and stuff, they're perfect and leave it outside your house and stuff. So we want to do like wheels, lower it, bit of a kit, spoiler, decals on it, and then get the trailer and we're job done. Um, now we're going to move down to the cars at the back. So very back. This, this yoke is still here. Body kit for the PS13. Um, as you can see, we're, gonna, we're probably going to paint those side skirts because they're a little bit grubby and a few cracks and stuff. So we'll probably do that with Triple Eight Customs in the next couple of weeks. Adam Z46, if you didn't hear on the podcast, blew up. So it's now another car broken. Another car broken. And one engine. step forward, nine steps back. It's the E46. <laughs> That's lift. <laughs> we have the Coming back for the PS13 as well. Oh, you were starting that. Yes, so we, we haven't confirmed. Yeah. Very confident, yeah, but that'll be fine. I'm, I'm feeling okay, I think I'm getting there. But the 46 to be fair, as much hardship as we have, when it does come back, it's just bodywork and wheels, hopefully. And how is that car turned in from, from me being a little bit drunk and buying a body kit all the way to four E46s bought now to make one in the space of six months? That is a spiral out of control there for that one, anyway. One thing that also spiraled out of control is uh, Johnny Rust's MX-5 over here. Johnny Rust is gone. It's now just Johnny MX-5. The trash has been sitting up so much since they've done the Rust. I'd say it's rusted again. It's, it's, it's been on the ramp. It's, very, it's probably going to go back on the ramp again now after it's never moved. So next stage is Josh. What's up? This is going to be painted out of the It was going to be wrapped, but budget is running out and painting it is much cheaper. So it's Why getting it painted. 
because I'm going to do it myself. Because <laughs> <laughs> you said this, I was like, painting's not cheap. So he started this project as not a welder, and then he became a welder. He started as not a painter. But to be fair, I do respect the fact that you're doing it all yourself. I wouldn't do it because I'd want my car to look good at the end. You know what? If I was to start it, if, if I was to start it again, I wouldn't do it either. So yeah, you're learning. You're learning as you go. So you don't have to paint it up here. Yeah, this, it's going this color. Is this white? white yeah, color, that's a real nice uh, kind of primer fade into yes, dark so blue. So what you did was you put black sealer on and painted a primer. Lovely. It's yeah. really nice. That's called Marigold primer, is it? <laughs> you put the quarters on to cover all this, so you don't see any of this. You're not gonna see that. What about the roof? The, the roof, I have a new, new roof, because that is, yeah. Hey, you, that, that's my finger gone in there. And that's actually one of the smaller holes that um, <laughs> I mean, you, get, you get two fingers in that one, so. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh careful, no. Careful. Um, so yeah, you, do, you have a new roof. You have wheels. Have wheels. Shout out to CM Wheels, by the way. CM Wheels do JO Racing wheels. They also do the Motion <laughs> wheels. They also do the Strom wheels. Do, I, I would say we obviously are partners with Strom wheels, which we have on all our drift cars, as you can see behind you. But if you're looking for the whole range, go to cmwheels.com because they have pretty it's a dangerous website. Like literally any car, they have something for it and many different types of. Well, I will add, I didn't actually realize that they did these, and it's when I messaged them directly, and they gave me a list of suppliers that for brands that they actually have that they can source. Do you know what I would say? I get loads of DMs from you guys on my Instagram of where would you get this wheel, where would I get this, where would I get... Just go to CM Wheels for everything. They have every brand on there, so there's no reason to go anywhere else. If you want a tire, go to the tire box. People ask me for their number, it's an online service, you have to order online, so there's no number, unless you want to ring, like, internet noise, like, doo -doo -doo -doo, whatever that noise is. Um, so get on to those guys. Tires and wheels, they have it sussed in Ireland, cheapest, best delivery, in stock. Don't be going on sites and ordering stuff and it takes six months to come, they have it there and then. That's just my piece of advice. But this thing will be soon enough, this will be getting, I think what's gonna happen here is realistically we're gonna try and get, because they're closer, my five road cars all to Dubshed. Because they'll make it there, hopefully. We're like, that, at least it's realistic in two and a half or three, oh, three weeks right now. My, mine was already in the north, so it's, it's, it's halfway there. Yeah, but it can't get from one side of it to the other, that's the problem. <laughs> so what I think is gonna happen is, um, we're gonna do the five, my five street cars, they're gonna go to, this is the kind of plan for the year. Five street cars go to Dubshed, you get to see them all in the flesh. All the new merch is there, new shop, everything, cool. New vans there if you really wanna, you really wanna care about it. Might be a lot of lads out there mad for the van, we put the wheels on, you never know. Don't start this again. This is a more reasonable van. Yeah, you Rocket know, you know how the last one started. Rocket buddy, <laughs> Rocket buddy Look at the arches on it, ready for it. Anyway, uh, so those five cars are there. Then, after that, I'm going away on holidays for a week. So you guys can take over the vlog and do the E46 and this car. And that'll be the last two street cars to be done. Then we're going to go do loads of tons of stuff. You'll see that on our calendar soon of what we're doing for the year with all of these. Then, we move on to the most difficult part. which Misery. Is the two drift cars. As much as the Corvette, because a lot of people were saying, they had a little bit of a, a sting there on one comment, they were like, oh, the cars are so unreliable. The Corvette has only broken one day, uh, two days actually, but it's been the same problem. So the clutch went at Jaff Fest last year, and then the clutch went again at the bash. So we have a clutch problem. At, at the bash, it did do like three hours straight. It did and which 58 passenger runs, which is about 120 laps of Mandelo. Which the progress aren't supposed which to do. Yeah, pro car would never do that. So it actually, it was just after that, it just, it's a clutch issue and we have to figure that out. So we've got a couple of issues with this car. Number one is I've so, I bought another engine, which is the biggest issue. So this LS3 will be coming out and we'll be bolting in a Mass Motorsport headered stroked seven liter V8, which should make 800 horsepower, which would be bananas, which will actually make twice the horsepower and torque at low and mid range, which is mad when you think about it. Anyway, no need for that, but we'll do that. We're just waiting on shipping from the Middle East for those things. All the bushings need to be done. The clutch needs to be replaced. But because the engine, the whole drivetrain has to come out for the clutch, we've decided to do the engine at the same time. So we won't do that just right away. Maybe sometime in May we'll do that. And then this car actually, would you believe, needs a lot more work than this car does. Because this car, hopefully all it needs is the sump put in. And the new sump is over there. So hopefully we can get that and put it into the car. That is the only issue with this car. Nothing else has had even a chance to drive and brake on this thing. So it seemed to hold up every other way. Just the sump was having oil pressure issues from the pickup and the seal because there's not a welding done in it we reckon it might have warped it a little bit or the pickup wasn't in the correct place so that was the issue there it still ran but it was leaking and low oil pressure not low oil pressure but not happy sr oil pressure so that's going to be sorted and then what me and josh want to do in may is probably take in the mustang and the mx5 and do a full revamp because the mustang's wrecked 
not because of Adam specifically, but also be mostly because of me at Jaffest last year, I smashed into the walls and Neil Dunn and other drivers and everything because I was very annoyed that this broke, that I, so I kind of took my anger out on the Mustang. So make that NA, clean it up, make it look shit hot, and then you will be driving that at the bashes. We'll see maybe about a competition in Ireland. We'll see, our, see, I think, and a lot of people are saying, oh, get, taking the power out of it, because uh, taking the power out of it, oh, Adam, blah, 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 blah. That's people are like, oh, you're just making this car. That car, with the power of the supercharger off, will make the same power as this. Yeah. So another 300 horsepower is absolutely irrelevant in that doesn't car. You've driven it, it does nothing, it just spins wheels. Fourth gear, like, like cause remember we, me and you were coming over the hill and I was like, this thing's dead, like what's wrong with it? It was in fourth, it was spinning the wheels in fourth and it was still revving out. He but got the wrong gear And in. it still worked. It was like, but it doesn't have any traction because yeah. there's too much wheel speed. So it needs a less power, less torque, a little bit of the weight taken out and the handling is good. Yeah, really good. Well, so like, handling's great, really, like for the weight it is. It and also handle. there's no point in starting off in Pro-Am with 900 horsepower because you can't <laughs> like because what's going to happen is a car with 200 horsepower is going to leave you for dead especially in the wet the, 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 Josh, Josh is at our MX-5 you went onto the new tarmac in the, at the bash and you were just gone your car just floated away and that's the, the boat I, to be fair I couldn't catch him in this yeah. either I'm some, I'm a, I am some pilot it seems oh, just, just, it's definitely the car <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely the heat. that's wheel speed because yeah. if you're in the wet and you have so much wheel speed you're going nowhere yeah. you have no traction so this thing's gonna have more power, but you can dial more grip into this. And I think the chassis is able for it. And also the delivery is NA, so it's just straight, right? Whereas that one is like, da, 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 wah! so like you want that to be more linear. So I think that's a good idea with that car. It makes it cheaper to run, means we can put more tires on it, means you can get more practice. Because obviously that car was doing, it could do, and it was wet that I did, day. I did two laps and I was like, bring it in just to be safe. But you can do one lap of Mondello, that's tires. Yeah. So what are you learning? As a new driver, what are you learning there? Basically. 40 seconds of drifting, Stop. 50 minutes, 40 minutes of changing wheels and pottering around, and then another minute. Like Where it doesn't. Did four hours straight. Exactly. Yeah. So for, for you, you need time in the car. So that's why you don't want it to be that high horsepower. So I think that works for everybody. Um, so if you want to buy an LS3, this is a, the whole engine is perfect on this car. It's only done a couple of events. If you want to buy an LS3, I am going to be selling this one around May. Price on it is 9,000 euro, which if you look them up is very cheap, especially for one that's completely built. Um, but it is just an undressed engine, so it's just the block and the heads. Everything else will be switched over. And the Rotrex supercharger from the Mustang, which is huge. Um, you can get any part available to change that to any car. I'll sell that as well, because I don't think I just want it sitting on the shelf. I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. Because I was thinking about putting it on in this engine, but now if I'm going like 7 litre, it doesn't make any sense. So we're just going to have everything NA, except for Josh's misery machines. <laughs> and um, that should be the way it is. So that's pretty much the idea. Uh, a lot of people ask us also about tickets for Drift Masters coming to Mandela. We yes. are the official promoter. Don't know just yet. Literally. By time, yeah. I'm hoping in the next week, we'll have it all sussed out and there's gonna be very limited tickets. That's the one thing. It's gonna be ticket only. They're not gonna let the tickets go. Like, because it's an event about drifting, they don't wanna overpack the bank. Because if you go and sell 8,000 tickets, not everyone's gonna get a good view. So they don't want that and we don't want that. So we're gonna limit the tickets on the bank the grandstand is obviously going to be sold out within minutes, I would say. And then we're going to have a big car show as well. So the car show, we're ringing out to all of the biggest automotive names in Ireland. Lights of I Love Bass, Juicebox, Speed Hunters, us, all those guys, Triple Eight. And we're going to make a really cool car show of just the high-end stuff, just so it's like a really cool vibe at the event. That's all in the works at the moment, but we will let you know on our social, Driftmasters and Mandela, when those tickets are coming out. Um, other than that, stay tuned for all the merch launches next week. That's a little update on everything. I said, sorry we couldn't go walking around the yard, because to be honest with you, it's just too bloody wet, and the camera was just, just literally raining since I got here today, which is a bit depressing. But anyway, we're going to the Middle East again next week, so we'll be back in the shorts and t-shirts, living life. Um, and all these cars, you'll see them come together on the next couple of episodes. The next one to watch out for is uh, the S15. That's pretty much where the focus is. All the parts are there. And hopefully now on Monday when the next video goes out, you guys will see the transformation from kind of the uh, to, okay, now I get, to, I see where he's going with this. And then of course we go to the big color change with precision tinted graphics in like two weeks time. So it has to be ready for that. So that's pretty much the update. This is the one shot episode. I hope you guys like it. Let us know in the comments if you like this format because this is just one shot through, update on everything. Next week we'll probably be in the Middle East. So if we're at a garage there, we'll just do the same thing again and just go for a walk around. It's kind of live, kind of interesting. It means we get an extra video out every week for you guys. So it's more content. So let us know what you think in the comments. And yeah, if you like the one shot episode, you like the podcast and you like the normal vlogs, let us know which one you prefer, which one you like, what style you like. Again, we're making these videos sort of for you guys. So this is the cars we love, but the content that you want. So whatever you guys suggest, throw it in the comments below and check out next week. We're gonna have a lot more banging content coming. So that's our first episode of the one shot. We'll see you next time. Bye.